Team Latvia again ending up on the podium for today. So they finished out of four races. They finished with three of the golds and in the women they got a silver. So Latvia is taking home a lot of hardware tonight and we could hear the the, the crowd chanting Latvia, Latvia. It's so fun when, when uh, teams win on their home track because everybody just gets so excited. So everyone's going to split off. They got to go do their interviews for the home country. We'll see if we can grab some people or they're just going to walk away because everybody um, has places to be and things to do. But that was that was tight racing towards the end. Latvia was just so fast though. There's there's so many pieces to home track advantages and, and it, it comes with when the men move down from the start height down to women. So like for instance, Christos Apriodes right there, he's had so many runs on this track that to move down in a start height really isn't a big deal for him. He grew up racing from that height um, when you get to know the track. And so when the men have to come down, it's really not a big deal for the home track. But for someone like Felix Locke, who I don't know if he's ever really raced from women's start here in Segula. That's kind of a big jump, and it's not as natural to figure it out. So that's where we can kind of see, you know, when we're on German tracks, a lot of German dominance, and when we're on Latvian tracks, we see Latvian dominance, and same with Americans and Canadians. So kind of interesting to see how it all shakes out, especially for those races. But Austria, unfortunately, it just wasn't their weekend. Um, not the best results from them, but unfortunately Lisa Schulte, she did have a crash on her first run. And I was talking to her before when she was warming up and she was saying that she was just really nervous. And sometimes when you're in a team atmosphere, it can just be nerve wracking as a whole because you're not just racing for yourself, you're now racing for the entire team and it feels like you're representing your whole country. So it can just be, it can just be kind of scary a little bit. So, um, so yeah, a lot of big races this weekend. And the thing though, we were supposed to be in Norway this week, but next, but we're gonna be, we, they moved it to Segulda. So now we have a double World Cup. Guys, are you joining me? We are joining Can you. Can I talk to you? Go. Oh my gosh, okay. Team USA finishing bronze, Emily Sweeney, Di Gregorio Hollander, Tugger West. Guys, what are you feeling after that? Okay, well first, let's go through each one. Big saves for you, coming out of 14. How did that feel? Were you, were you hoping that you had that run yesterday with your race? Oh, definitely. I mean, yesterday was pretty rough, so that's why I was a little tentative coming out of there. Um, so I wish I could have done better, but, you know, third's third. We're happy. <laughs> third's great. Okay, doubles teams. I know the viewers can't see it, but we all can see it. Can you just describe that moment of coming out of 15, that correction, and just how you think it's out of control, but you handled it so well? Yeah, you know, it was definitely dicey out of 15 there and out of 14, but all we could do is put our head back and try to make that small correction that we needed. Yeah, you just got to hold your breath and hope that he's doing his job. Well, I feel like you're coming out of 15 and you're just saying a prayer. It's like we saw so much gestertzing, we saw so much crashing coming out of 15, but like for you guys, it just, you were scared, but it didn't look like it. Yeah, I mean, we had so many different runs here this week. Like, our training was kind of all over the place with different ice conditions and then the race being completely different. So we've had just about everything. So I think that helped us in the long run where it made us ready for anything. Okay, I get it. And I'm going to come on this side of Tucker. Tucker, coming down. Oops, yep. don't want to trip over these. Coming down from men's start to women's start, not on a track, not on, like, a home track. Like, is that uncomfortable for you or it's fine? Yeah, it's always a difficult jump to go from men's start to women's start. Um, the lines are similar, but the slower speeds change your lines for sure. Um, we've had training here in the preseason, though, so I definitely had runs here this year. Um, you know, sometimes you drop down and haven't had to run there in years, so that's better than most. Um, yeah, and Segulda is a scary relay. You know, the pad comes quick. The upper curves are a little different than from the top. So just happy to keep it steels down and come out with the medal. Well, we saw Apriodes almost missed it. That would have have any of you guys ever missed the pad before? Really close to. <laughs> we we came really close on this one, so it was a sigh of relief when we saw that we had a finish time for sure. Today. Yeah, I feel like sometimes people might miss it, but the air will whiff it, and then it'll still count, which is a lucky is a lucky go. So, do you have a few days off before we get back on the track? What do you guys so. What are you guys doing? We haven't really heard what if they're changing it because we're staying here. It's nice not having to go back and pack up really quickly and move on to the next spot. We'll be hanging out here. So, our plan is we're making carbonara tonight. We're going to hit the sauna and hang out. <laughs> we just do what they tell us. We don't know what's going on. You don't make your own schedule. They don't pay you enough to make your own schedule. Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. So, if any so if anyone wants to sponsor you guys where should they go? If they want to help out Team USA to have... We're lucky. We have great sponsors. Thank you, Norton. Thank you, Dad. We have really great sponsors. Best but... jacket out there. Yes.
That was a great plug. You did well. You you got an A plus for that. Yeah, you got a bonus for that. That was really good. Well, I'll let you guys go. Now you get to relax the day. Because what you mentioned, you go home, you pack a ton. So is it you literally leave the track and just blitz out of here? Or what is it like normally? A normal week, yeah. You're, you're packing up your box with your sled and getting out as soon as possible. All right. Well, now you guys get to hang. So congratulations on your bronze. Go call home about it. You did great. And we'll see you probably again next week. Is it relay again next week? Yes. So are we going to fine tune some things or we're just going to go for it again? Yes. <laughs> All everything. Just yes, yes to everything. Okay, great. Congratulations, Team USA. You did a great job. Thanks, Kate. See you guys. Um, that was awesome. <laughs> that was hilarious. Um, we'll try and get some of Team Lavia. They had such a killer weekend this weekend. Um, everybody's so happy. I don't know if this really could have gone any better for, for Lavia, especially hometown crowd on your home track um everybody just looks so great but yeah that team usa interview that was awesome there was so there's so many small mistakes that you see in the track that you don't really notice but they really got themselves out of a lot of situations but <laughs> everyone looks so good you look so pretty wow this is a team picture this is like when you're on a soccer team and you need a picture with everyone for your parents, this is it. But they look at how many medals. They picked up so many medals this weekend. Congratulations, Team Latvia. I now know your anthem way better because I heard it so many times. We talked to Chris Ojapios before. Uh, maybe we can get a chat with Alina Vitola. She did grab silver, but it's just kind of hard. They're like kind of jumping out of here. Wait. Rubenus, can we chat for a second? How proud are you of your team this weekend? That was incredible. Uh, there are not so much words to describe it. I'm, I, I'm, I would say I'm excited and happy and uh, I'm grateful for that everything went this way. Yeah, it was probably one of the best weekends Latvia has had ever in a race weekend. Yeah, that's, that's true. And uh, we have a pretty new team and, uh, and all the young athletes have, uh, I, I think they have enough courage and concentration uh, before a before, uh, race. And I think it's, it's a good beginning. It's, it's just a beginning. How, how do you set, like as a coach on the coach's side, you deal with the sleds and setting up the sleds and you did a great job this weekend because they were so fast. Are there any secrets you'd like to share on how they went so fast? Actually, uh, you, you, you say I did it. Actually, the whole team uh, made the job. The, there, is, there is no person on our team that uh, didn't do the, the, its job well. Yeah. So and only, only when it all comes together, it, it, it makes the team strong. And, and, and as you see, it, it was not uh, one athlete doing great and others bad, but, but the whole team was pretty focused and on and, and a, and a good level. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with that. And, uh, and of course, for the, for the next week I see uh, we did it this week uh, next uh, next week is a blind paper yeah, <laughs> and, yeah. and we started again yeah. do you think I mean I think you could I think we could repeat this whole thing what do you think I hope so yeah. <laughs> let's, well, let's let, let's cross the fingers and, yeah. and, and hope for that is there anything you want to say in Latvian to the Latvian fans that have been watching Paldies Latvijas visiem līdzutējiem jūs esat paši labākie, tāpat kā Latvijas komanda šonedēļ. Lai nākošā nedēļa tieši tādu pati turamies. <laughs> Amazing. Thanks, Martin. That was great. So fun. What's your name? What's her name? Kā tevi sauc? Can you say it? Adelina. Oh, wow. Adelina. Adelina. Does she slide? Oh yeah, she she has a, her her own sled oh, wow. already. Yeah, it's 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 not a really uh, race legal, yeah, but yeah, but it's yeah. but it's good. You're a future superstar. Can you give me five? Uh, yeah. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much, Martins. Yes. Thank you. I haven't talked to you guys yet. I've talked to Apriots. Please yeah, join us. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> it's okay. No one needs to know. <laughs> we've got Bots Pluma and we've got Upper Yodes. Also, Robot. I, that's the first time I've seen that. That's. Yeah. Did you come up with that? Uh, that was our, so uh, smart. Our old teammate came up with that, uh, Peter Skalnins. Yeah. He was just sliding the doubles. Uh, he came up with that in the summer training in the track. He just said, uh, Robot on the track. We liked it and uh, we stick to it. Yeah, Robot. I love that. It's a, he, from Roberts, Roberts. Uh, yeah, Roll and uh, Boat, his surname. Yeah, 
Yeah. It works. That's very smart. You guys had such a great weekend. Congratulations on yesterday. Thank you. How did it feel today with Team Relay? Uh, you know, Team Relay is always a special feeling. You have the, the team chemistry, and uh, it feels just amazing. You know, the adrenaline and uh, emotions are everywhere. So, yeah. Yeah, it's you different, but also very good. You're feeling confident, right? Yeah. <laughs> feeling confident. Vitola, I know you don't want to talk. You, you don't have to talk. It's okay. You did incredible, though. Can I just say congratulations Thanks. yesterday on your show, but you don't have to say anything. I'll have you say something in Latvian at the end. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Um, next week, next week, it's a second World Cup. Are you guys nervous to do this all over again, or are you ready for it? Uh, Anyone? You know, next uh, these uh, weeks our humans don't give us advantage for next week. Next week is new week, so uh, we will do our best and uh, we will try to do the same thing next week. Yeah. Let's see. I wanted to say it. yes, yes, and no. Yeah. If I answer short, short to your uh, question, but uh, uh, you know, as Robert said, um, there's no opportunity. Uh, like there is, there is opportunity for everyone, and uh, so, yeah, no, no advantage for. No one and uh, everybody have a, yeah. how to say, um, a yeah. Clean yeah, 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 that's right. It's very nice to see when it's equal amongst all call, uh, countries and all that. So anyways, we're so happy for Latvia. Your fans, everyone showed up. You had so many fans here today. That was so fun. In the, I don't know if you heard the band down there. Yeah. They were incredible. So yeah. Latvia really just showed up for you guys, and I'm so excited for you. So Alina, is there anything you want to say in Latvian to all the fans? Mums ir labākie fani pasaulē, un mēs esam labākā komanda. Amazing. Okay, thank you guys so much. We'll see you thank next you. week. Uh, good luck with trading and your days off. Um, incredible. I could see Vitola just hiding in the back. And she, she, the thing is, they all speak great English. They just get insecure about it. They don't want to say anything. Anyways, congratulations to Latvia. That was so good. So we've had a great first weekend of racing for the 2023 year. This is our fourth World Cup overall, and then we're going to be repeating our fifth World Cup next weekend here in Segulda. So our current leaders, if I can think of this, if I did my homework right, Julia Taubitz leads in overall standings for women. Dominic Fischnaller from Italy is leading the men still, and then Egert Benekin for Germany in doubles. They lead within that, and then I believe it's Germany on top for women's doubles as well, and then Latvia just pulled out the win for the relay today. So it's been a great weekend of racing. They're going to go home take some time off like team usa said they usually are just hurrying to the airport so they can get to the next place but since we'll be here next week they get a few days to chill and relax which must be really nice so we will be back here next week starting with i don't know i don't know which race is first next weekend but fio studio will be back and we'll be there to cover all of it we had so many fun interviews this weekend and everyone talked to us so hopefully people can see that the fio studio is a great thing and more people can come chat to us so anyways that is it for today my name is kate hansen i'm just looking around to see if there's anyone else that kind of wants to come hang out with us but i think that'll be that was a great team relay congratulations latvia and on all the medals won this weekend thank you guys and we'll see you next week